I'm not going to pretend that I was the only one that said this, but I definitely was one of the many that said this immediately following the firing of Gina Carano. As soon as Disney bent the knee to a bunch of blue hair land whales on Twitter, a bunch of weirdos that have... I don't know where they're getting this fucking stereotype from, but it's not been a thing since fucking 2014. Um, then again, this guy's a grifter. He doesn't actually know anything about anything. He just kind of repeats what he hears online. No interest in Star Wars whatsoever. All Apparently they do. The new fucking series did amazingly well. They made a lot of money on them. All these people want... Despite the go, well, go broke bullshit. ...to do is pretend to be offended over something that they don't even care about. That is their life. They love... By the way, this offense is Gina comparing being conservative here in the U.S. right now to being a fucking Jew in Nazi Germany. Her saying masks are a fucking... a gateway to tyranny and her promoting fucking election fraud. That's what she did. On, in the open, on Twitter. Which is a big fucking no-no. Anybody with any idea how PR works knows this. And she was warned repeatedly by Disney corporate and by friends she had in Disney. She didn't listen. To sit there and be miserable in their own homes. They love to not have to work and they love for the government to hand them everything. So they sit. No, when they say they shouldn't have to work, it's more we shouldn't have to break our backs for the bare minimum of survival like we are now. UBI should be a thing. Housing, food, water should all be taken care of. It shouldn't have to be a struggle. Sit around and they create hate mobs, fake hate mobs on Twitter. Hate mobs. You know, the fan base of these things. Twitter about something they don't care about. The moment that happened, Disney essentially told them that you have all the power. And now they're going to move... Yes. The fans are supposed to have all the power. ...move on to someone else. And I said over and over again that they will be going after Rosario Dawson. Now, I am a huge fan of Rosario Dawson. No, he's not. I think she's great. She's in... No, he doesn't. ...one of my favorite movies of all time, which is Clerks 2. I've been a fan of hers for a long time. She was no, he hasn't. Was in Daredevil, and being as a so that's a lie. Nobody liked fucking Daredevil. Oka is my favorite Star. Is he talking about the series or the movie? Because nobody liked the movie, and only a few people really liked the series. For his character, I was really excited for her to be uh, cast in this role, and she. Uh huh. Wonder if that's true blew me away in the mandalorian she blew me away with her portrayal of ahsoka tano well now because of some nonsensical stuff from the uh, social justice community now guess who they're targeting guess who they're targeting that's right now that they've taken gina down they're going to target rosario dawson rosario dawson is a left-wing person This is even a very good picture. It makes no sense whatsoever. Well, it makes sense of this fact that she's a conservative, and that's an at, -AT the Empire's big thing. You know what I mean? But it wasn't Twitter that took her down. It was literally her boss who fired her because she was being a dum-dum on Twitter. She's married or either dating Cory Booker. She buys into all of the left-leaning stuff, and they don't care. They're just there to eat her alive because she's the next person on the oppression Olympics scale. And they're now targeting her. Now that Gina's out of the way, it's on to the next person we can pretend to be offended over. And that's exactly what is happening. And we all told you this was going to happen. And you have no one to blame but yourselves at Disney. Yeah. By the way, I have heard nothing of this happening yet. And I'm literally on the left side of things. Never heard of this. Have not heard a word of it from anybody. Have no one to blame but yourselves. The asso- Wait a minute, go back, go back. What was that? What was that? Let me, let me look at something, because I forgot to take a look at it. Come on, come on, show me the tweet. Five retweets, 15 quote tweets, and 10 likes. This is nothing. I've gotten more of these on my fucking Twitter account before. This means nothing. But yourselves. The Ahsoka problem. Uh, though not currently part of the Mandalorian reoccurring cast, Rosario Dawson is poised to star in... Two likes? <laughs> Two likes. Is this his whole fucking evidence for this? Her own Mandalorian spinoff series simply entitled Ahsoka. However, Dawson and her family were recently sued by a trans man who claimed they purposely... Oh, yeah, I've heard of this. This is, um, this is nothing, by the way. This wasn't her being transphobic. I think this was an accident. 
It happens. This was nothing. This was not transphobia. Uh, yeah. This is nothing, by the way. Again, it only has two likes. ...misgendered him and even assaulted him. Though all charges against Dawson uh, herself were later dropped, the fandom was wary of another Corano-like situation lurking. It bugs me and several other people, and I think it would be good if they... Le at least recast the actress because she already makes so many people uncomfortable. Kennedy agrees, adding, I think that the majority of Stan Twitter, myself included, are skeptical of her because we don't know if the charges on her are true or not. Because there's no extensive evidence like there was on Carano's Twitter account. Opinions are still mixed on Dawson. Stan Twitter tried to get hashtag Fire Rosario Dawson trending, but a lot less people were on board. Um, unlike yeah, because this is this is nothing. This was literally an accident, I think, and it led to nothing, and nothing happened. This wasn't like she was spewing anti-trans garbage like Carano was. Carano, Dawson has expressed horror at the claims against her and reiterated her own, her support of trans voices. Again, if this is all the evidence that they have that somebody was trying to cancel this lady, um, two fucking likes, that's nothing. That's worse than the last tweet. Drawing the line in between these matters <coughs> is always difficult. You see, what these idiots do is they troll through Twitter, specifically looking up one or two phrases that they know will fucking, um... Get them what they want to hear. You know what I mean? So they can show what they want to show. And they'll, and they'll put up shit like this that has like two fucking likes. How is this a mob? How is this all of Twitter? Again, I have tweets on my fucking Twitter that's got more likes than this. Cool. But for now... Luke and I've been banned three times from Twitter already. <laughs> Lucasfilm is somewhere between Carano's actions and Dawson's. Um, for the most part, the community seems to be basking at the prospect of supporting the Mandalorian without the mental gymnastics required to justify its casting. I've heard... Uh, I yeah, just because you use that stupid voice doesn't make this any fucking smarter. It just makes you look like an idiot. I've heard a lot of marginalized communities who stopped watching the show because it made them uncomfortable, incapable of separating actress and character, Reggie says. Now that she's gone, people can be free to watch without feeling absolute awful about themselves or their identity. This will continue, ladies and gentlemen. No, it won't. And This is not ending. See, here's the thing about the slippery slope argument. There is an end point, and it's wherever society dictated ends. And society usually doesn't dictate that it just keeps going forever. You know, it's like the statues. They want to take down the Confederate statues. They're not going to come for fucking Washington next. Because you've empowered this group of people. I've been telling Disney this. I've been telling Lucasfilm this for years now. And No, he hasn't. He's been whining at his fucking screen about this for years because he needs money. So many others have been out there saying the same thing. You are empowering a group of people that simply do not care about your product. Their mission in life... Again, apparently they do care. Record fucking profits since the new launch of Star Wars. ...is to be professional victims. Nothing will make them happy. Nothing. Once you give them anything, you... Actually, the left is pretty happy all the time. You have to give it, them... It's really just the right that's always butthurt about something. And they always have to pretend to be the victim of something, which is very odd considering they're whining about victim culture everything and then when you give them everything then you have to start all over because it's an endless cycle of nonsense it never ends there is no end in sight when it comes to the that could also be the name of his youtube channel by the way an endless cycle of nonsense oppression olympics and that is what is happening right now he has the buzzwords down but he has no idea what they mean it's like the censorship thing again you got rid of gina carano because of some fake outrage on twitter and now it wasn't fake it was real she was a fucking idiot on Twitter. And as a society, we have agreed that that is fucking wrong. Now they have moved on to the next target that they can pretend... Yeah, two people. Three if you count the person who made the tweet. ...to be offended over, and that would be one Rosario Dawson, someone that agrees with a lot of the stuff they say. But what do we know about social justice weirdos? They love to eat each other alive. No. They will eat each other alive. I don't know where this comes from, the, the eat each other constantly. No. The right's doing it right now. The Trumpers are mad at the libertarians and the regular conservatives. And they're trying to kill each other, which is great. But the left doesn't really do that. There's a lot of arguing, but they're not turning on each other. A lot. Hell, even the woke scolds, 
who are universally hated across every political alignment, they tend to get along when stuff needs to be done. And they will not even think twice about it. And Rosario is the next person. Bill Burr, they're going to be after Bill Burr at some point. They're probably going to be after Carl Weathers at some point. Because Carl Weathers has shown some support for Gina Carano many times. And he's shown that they had a really... So he's a piece of shit too? ...really good relationship. You empowered this group of people, Disney. Oh no, Disney gave the fans power to dictate who is on their fucking show. And you have yourself to blame. Not really. Disney fired them of their own accord. From what we know, she had been fucking causing problems for PR for a while at that point. These weirdos are going to exist. Let them exist. Look at this guy's room. Look at all the stuff he never touches at all. And just has these two fucking screens to play this endless loop of bullshit. This guy's calling everybody else a weirdo. Let them continue to cry. Let them continue to be fake victims. Yeah, crying and fake victims. This guy needs to look up what fucking self-awareness is. That's their right. But when you make business decisions based on these people and their fake victim. It's called the market. They have to appease people to sell their products. Hood, that is the problem. And Disney, you get what you deserve. And now we're heading down. Record profits. Down an endless rabbit hole of nonsense. And it will only get. Worse. Another good name for this guy's channel instead of Geeks and Gamers. Because let's be honest, he's neither. Worse, as we continue. I don't think I've ever seen this motherfucker play a game. ...you to move forward into this. Disney Star Wars is not George Lucas' Star Wars. It's not about a galaxy far, far away. It literally is. It is not about the things that you grew up loving. It literally is the same thing. It is about social justice active... Anything that's not the same shit you've seen since the 1930s is social justice agenda for some reason. It is about social justice propaganda. That's what it... A little white cuck ball again. It is. And as long as you can come to grips with that, you'll be okay. But don't believe this is George Lucas' Star Wars. It's not. It's not. If you knew what the fucking extent of the universe was, you'd realize it makes more sense than his Star Wars. <laughs> Nowhere near it. It doesn't resemble it. It's gone. It literally does. It's the exact same universe. All the pieces are still there. You just, you're just mad there's more vaginas in it. It's over with. Disney, Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy have turned this into social justice propaganda. Now, if you guys... As opposed to you, conservative propaganda, which is okay for some reason. If you guys have not yet, please follow us over on Odyssey, OD... And then him just shilling his shit for the next couple minutes. Holy fucking shit, these people are dumb as hell.